Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I will not be showing my face in today's video, but I am jet lagged like crazy and I look like an absolute zombie. So instead, you're gonna see my fingies. In today's video, I wanted to show you my travel journaling kit. I love journaling and especially travel journaling. It's like the best of both worlds. I love travel, I love journaling. Tada! travel journaling. In this video we will go through my travel journal kit, everything from my notebook, supplies, everything I bring with me traveling. My goal is to pack as light as I possibly can, but I still like, you know, to have a little bit of fun in my journals. However, I don't really bring a lot with me because I like to use whatever I can find on my trips. Hopefully this will give you some ideas on what you can bring with you to travel journal. First up, I'm going to show you my journal that I use. I came to a conclusion after trying many different things that B6 size journals just work the best for me. This particular one is a moleskin. It's one of their two-in-one, a bit unusual. It has plain pages on the left side and lined pages on the right side which I find perfect for travel journaling because I can scrapbook on the left and journal on the right have the structure to write in a line because <laughs> I'm horrible at it. Next up is my mini photo printer. This particular one is an HP sprocket I love this thing. It, it's not. It doesn't print the best quality pictures, but for printing them on the go and slapping them in your journal, this is absolutely amazing. The photos are sticky backed, which makes it so much easier. And genuinely, if you're like scrapbooking in your journals, I would highly recommend it. This is my pencil case that I use for traveling. I love it because it's very flat. When you zip it up, it actually fits a lot of things inside it, but it's very portable and very easy to carry around. It's a Hobonichi pouch. I would highly recommend it, except maybe not this particular color because it gathers fluff like nothing else. <laughs> I will link all the supplies I show you here in the description, by the way, so if you want anything, go there and check it out. In the little outside pocket, I have a Midori insert. It's passport sized. It's the sticky, sticker paper backing insert. I use it to keep all my travel stickers in one place. And if I find any stickers on my way that don't have a backing, I can just put it there until I'm ready to use it in my journal. Highly recommend this. This is amazing. It keeps me from carrying bulky papers with stickers on them everywhere. I also have this square of sticker paper just in case I make any mistakes or something happens, I can just stick it over that. It actually comes in handy quite a lot. Let's check out what's on the inside now. Very fun. First things first, I have a pair of tweezers. I find them very useful for multiple different things. And one of them is putting stickers in places that I, re I want and not doing it with my sausage fingers. I also have this little magnetic bookmark just so I can keep the res my receipts all together clamped by that. I find it very useful. I have these two cards with samples of washi tape wrapped around them. I actually made these cards out of the plastic that comes with Hobonichi Weeks and they are very useful because I don't like to bring entire rolls of washi tape with me because it's just too much stuff. Coming up, this little blue card is a representation of the spare papers for my HP Sprocket. I don't have any at the moment, I completely run out, but I will be repurchasing them for my next trip. Moving on, I have my favorite, 
I have my favorite pen, which is the Sarasa Grand in the color Camel Gold? Camel Yellow. Camel Yellow, that's the, that's the color of the ink. It, this is my everyday pen. I absolutely love it. I use it for everything. I find it less hurtful to my eyes because of the color on one white paper, on cream paper, on any paper. So I have it on the left side, so I have an easy access to it. In the big pocket, I have this little bookmark that I use as a ruler, a little plastic pouch that I keep all my little things that I don't want to lose before I put them in my journal so they're all in one place protected. I also have some loose stickers in there. And I have these double-sided stickers from Midori. This is just a standard insert that I cut in half. It's really useful, especially for things like business cards that I find are too rigid to stick in with just glue because they just pop off. So I use those instead. On the right hand side, in my little zip pouch, I have a teeny weeny glue stick. I was so happy when I found this guy. It's so tiny, it's so small, I love it. Super useful. I also have my embroidery scissors. If you are looking for a small pair of scissors that you can travel with and take on a plane, 100% recommend embroidery scissors. For every one of my trips, I take an assortment of zebra mind liners just to make things a little bit more spicy. Next up, I'm going to Manchester and I decided that the colors for that trip will be pink, yellow and green. Then I just have a few extra pens, a pink Muji gel pen in 0.5, another Zebra Sarasa Grand, this time in the color black. And lastly, I have a soft tip Tombow Fudonosuke. I gonna be honest, I don't use it very much, but sometimes I just want to feel fancy, so I carry it with me while traveling. And that's it. That is everything I bring with me traveling when I want to journal. Uh, hopefully this video gave you some ideas of what to include in your kit. Hopefully, you know, you enjoyed this and hopefully I will see you in the next video. I plan on doing a lot more journaling videos from now on, additional to my usual content, so if you would like to see any of it, click subscribe and click a like to let me know. Thank you for watching, sorry I didn't show my face again, and bye bye!